Make me come to life and talk. Flux is now on RenderNet AI, which is great news. Now, if you're unfamiliar with RenderNet, this is an app that does a fantastic job generating consistent characters. Like me. And one of the newest and best features is Narrator, producing lip-synced videos of any characters. And now, with Flux being added, this is really going to bring your realism to life even more. Okay, so here we are in RenderNet, and then you could see Flux right here is at the very top character consistency with just one reference image. Check the links in the description. But stay tuned because the next thing we're gonna try is gonna be right over here and that's gonna be narrator. First, let's go ahead and now create our Flux AI character. Now to do that, let's just go ahead and then select try Flux. And so here are three sample characters that we could choose from. However, let's go ahead and make our own. So X this out and now over here on the left-hand side, what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and then create our own. Now this is gonna be so impressive because after you create your own, you're gonna give that character a name, I could say something like at Luna, my character's name, at Luna, dressed in a Supergirl outfit, and then it will automatically know to put Luna in that Superman costume. So the first step, let's go ahead and upload an image, click this box right here, and now I can click and drag my image over here in this left-hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. And now there she is. So I'm going to go ahead and then just crop it. That way it's going to give a clear and precise look of what her actual face looks like. Now select next. And then there we have it. There's a few more options. We want realistic, female, adult, and then let's just change her hair to black. Simple. Let's now give her her name. It's going to be Luna. There it is. Character created successfully. Now, do you see I have at Luna down here in my prompt box? That's telling RenderNet AI, make sure you're going to use my character. And then look at that. She appears right here. It knows that Luna is my character. I can then enter a prompt of my choice. RenderNet will then know I'm referring to Luna. Okay, so as you can see, RenderNet is still thinking. We're actually going to come back to this in just a second, but first... First, I do want to show you something pretty amazing. Who do the Houston Texans play this Sunday in the NFL? The Houston Texans are playing the Jacksonville Jaguars this Sunday in the NFL. I want to show you something that's been blowing my mind with how good it is. And I'm not the only one who thinks this because their app has over 308,000 reviews. What I'm talking about is Character AI, a free AI powered chatbot with millions of lifelike characters. But what I want to focus on today is a recent feature called Character calls. This lets you have live conversations with AI characters, just like talking on the phone or texting with a real person. And this app is completely free for iOS and Android devices. And as I scroll down, I could see tons and tons of options. And we can have a conversation back and forth via text or even phone call, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and have a quick conversation with a model I created a little bit earlier. Now you could see right here, here is the conversation I've already been having with her. Just like any other text message, I'll I'll ask Luna a simple question. I just said, what kind of movies do you like? Instantly, Luna, which I gave her that name, is going to provide an answer back to me. You can see she's actually texting in real time. Then she asked me, what type of movies do you watch? I tell her drama. The conversation will continue to keep going over and over again. Okay, now let's go ahead and take things a step further and actually initiate a phone call and actually talk to Luna. I'm going to select that phone call button right here, and now it's calling her. Check this out. Hey, Luna, how are you today? Hello, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? What is 10 times 10? That's a simple one. 10x 10 100. <laughs> Anything else you want to ask? Hey Luna, I have one more question. I have a dinner party coming up. It's business casual. Can you please give me some good ideas with what an outfit should be I should wear? Of course, I'd be happy to help you come up with some outfit ideas for your business casual dinner party. Here are a few suggestions for men. A nice pair of dress pants or khakis paired with a button-down shirt, tucked in or worn casually with the sleeves rolled up. If I'm wearing a blue suit, what type and what color shoes do you recommend? If you're wearing a blue suit for a business casual dinner party, you could consider pairing it with brown shoes. Brown shoes are a neutral color that complement a variety of suit colors, and they also work well with a business casual dress code. Here are a few options for brown shoes to consider. Brown Oxford shoes. Hey, by the way, Luna, do you have any plans tonight? As for tonight, I don't have any specific plans. I'm just hanging out at home, relaxing and taking it easy. Have you got something going on tonight? Would you like to go to the movies? Sure, I'd love to go to the movies with you. What movie do you have in mind? Can you tell me what movies are currently playing at theaters right now? Of course. Here are some of the movies currently playing at theaters right now. Dune Part 2, 
John Wick, Chapter 4, Shazam Fury of the Gods, M3 Gian Creed, 3. There are also a few other new releases and special screenings depending on your location. Let me know if any of these movies interest you. Who do the Houston Texans play this Sunday in the NFL? The Houston Texans are playing the Jacksonville Jaguars this Sunday in the NFL. Okay, now I have to admit, that is pretty cool. Now, let me show you how easy it is to actually create your character, okay? Simply select that plus button that says create. You'll have four options, character, group chat, persona, and voice. I'll select character, and now the first thing you have to do is just give it a name. I already have Luna, so let's just choose something else. There we go, we have Bella. Now, we can do one of two things. I could either describe what she looks like. However, if I already have an image from one I generated in a different app, let's go ahead and upload one. And then just like that, there is my new new image of this new model called Bella. Let's test out the voice to see if we like the way that Bella's voice sounds. Hit this play button. Join me for conversations that are as thought provoking as they are joyful. If I don't like any of these voices, I can come over here and then I could change one that I like a little bit more. Hey there, ready to turn your day from meh to marvelous? And then when you're ready to create this one, just hit create and then you can see on your screen right here, I have another character right here. We have Bella and Luna. It really is as simple as that. Okay, now let's head back to RenderNet AI and look at the images that we had just created. Here's this first one right here, Luna posing on the Las Vegas Strip. I expand it. This did a phenomenal job on that one. I also did a second one, but wanted more of a comic book style one. And there she is right there. And then let's go up to this one right here. Again, it says Luna wearing a futuristic cyberpunk outfit. And then there is Luna right there. So a very good job in RenderNet AI. And again, very impressive where all I have to do is just tag the actual character I created, in this case, Luna. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go with Narrator. Narrator is gonna be incredibly impressive. So for a quick sample, look at this video right here. For amazing prompts check the links in the description let's take this same video and now add luna's face first thing we want to make sure we do is select a narrator over here on the left hand side and now there she is now however when you do want to do a face swap you could see over here on the left hand side that is where you can simply select face swap upload a picture with a face clearly visible with that button selected you can see we already have luna right here multiple pictures of her let's select this one and let's go ahead and upload a video now okay so as far as my video let's see how good of a job it can do with this one right here okay let's see if we can replace this face with now Luna's me so what I'll do is I'll grab it over here from my screen and now drop it within this square right here okay now you can see that she's in there again we can write the script and now let's go ahead and now generate on this one what I'm going to do is now I'm going to upload this video right here and just to show you how good of a job this does this is gonna be the original video right here for the most incredible prompts don't forget to subscribe now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna to upload her by simply clicking and dragging it over here into this box. Okay, now there she is over here on the left-hand side. She is ready to go. Now again, make sure you have face swap selected. That way we can use Luna's face. Okay, so now our two other videos are done. We have the first one and the second one. Let's go ahead and now start with this one right here, wearing the Metrix Mule hat. Check the links in the description for amazing prompts and incredible databases. Now let's check our second one. Remember to check the links in the description for tons of prompts. <laughs>